What's going on, guys, and welcome to the final episode of Season 4. Last we left off, we, um, pretty much, uh, we, a lot has happened. Like, Kermit the Carcaradonosaurus over here has died, and he's now decaying and whatever. And, uh, killed by a Kentrosaurus, of all things. And we've still got a bunch of dinosaurs here, and, uh, it's not as crowded as... It's just some dinosaurs like to huddle in other places, like the Sinosauropteryx like to chill around here, so do some Chasmosaurs, Dryosaurs, and even the Dreadnoughtus, or at least two of them like to chill here. Where's the third one? There it is. There's the third one. The third Dreadnoughtus has just made his way over to here for whatever reason. You know what? It's fine. We're going to add in the last few dinosaurs, and then we're going to see how it goes. And then after this, I'm going to take a break from the sanctuaries, and then do like a spin wheel park. Like, build an actual park. But let me give you a hint on what Season 5 is going to be like. So Season 5, let's just say, is going to be the opposite of this. You know how this season takes place in a hot desert? Well, let's just say in the next season, there's going to be snow involved. So... There are going to be dinosaurs in the snow. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Without further ado, let's get on with the herbivores. All right. We're going to add in six more herbivores and four more carnivores. So the first herbivore is starting off strong with a patasaurus. All right. What's next? It just landed on Iguanodon. All right. Four more to go. Please stay on Spinoceratops. Please stay on Spinoceratops. Oh, Therizinosaurus. Okay. This is going to get interesting. All right. What's number four? Another sauropod. Okay. Alamosaurus. All right. Number five. What's that going to be? Lystrosaurus, it looks like. All right. And the sixth and final herbivore is Minmi. Okay. So we've got Apatosaurus, Iguanodon, Therizinosaurus, Alamosaurus, Lystrosaurus, and Minmi. So what we're going to do here is we're going to filter that to herbivores, first things first. There we go. That should be everything ready to go. Let's get the Therizinos. We've got Defensive, Skittish, Social, and Tolerant. And for this one, we've got Strong, Skittish, Social, Tolerant, Humble, Quenched, and Small Appetite. Okay. So whatever carnivores are in the area should be given a run for their money. So let's release the Lystrosaurus first. I don't think the Lystros need to worry too much about what's over there. Let's release the Apatosaurus next. Alright, so that's that done. We'll release the others. While we wait for them, let's release the Iguanodons. Alright. Then let's release the Minmi. These guys get picked quite a lot, the mid -mates. All right. And then let's release the Therizinos. Of course they're blocked! Lystros, will you please get out of the way? All right, there we go. That's better. And now it's getting dark, which means it'll be hard to see. So while we release that Therizino, let's move on to the Alamosaurs. We'll only release the two of them. I think that's all of the herbivores added in, I think. Yep, that's everything. 
Alright, now that we got the herbivores out of the way, let's move on to the carnivores. Alright, moving on to the carnivore spin wheel. Notice we don't have too many of these left. What's our first carnivore gonna be? Okay, it looks like it's gonna be Demetrodon. Alright, we've got Demetrodon. What's the second one? Maybe something we haven't seen yet? Carnotaurus is not one of them, but... Okay, Demetrodon and Carnotaurus. Alright, what's the third one? Baryonyx, it looks like. Alright. We'll throw Baryonyx in. And then the fourth and final carnivore is... Majungasaurus. Okay, I believe we have gotten them before. So the four carnivores are Demetrodon, Carnotaurus, Baryonyx, and Majungasaurus. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. So let's see. Uh, so the first carnivore we got was Demetrodon. So let's filter that to carnivores and piscivores because we did get Baryonyx. So we'll throw Demetrodon in this first one. Alright, let's release the Demetrodons. Let's go. Alright, so that's Demetrodon done. Let's release the Carnotaurus. We got Toro right over there. So that's Carnotaurus done. Let's get Baryonyx. Just these three. I believe that is a Chaos skin. Is that a Chaos skin? Let me take a look. No, it's Yukon River Paparana. Might as well be Chaos. And last but not least, Majungasaurus. So I hear Majungasaurus is going to make its first appearance in Chaos Theory Season 2. I'm pretty excited for that. So yeah, we're going to get Major. That's the name of the Majungasaurus. Alright, that's everything done. Let's turn everything on. Alright, everything should be ready. We got four Apatosaurs, two Alamosaurs. We got the Carnotaurs kind of just... Chilling in this area. They've got. They're in the Kakaradonosaurus' territory. Iguanodons are fighting each other. We got Charcoal just staring at a Chasmosaurus. I think he's been around since episode 2. We got Stegosaurus going up against Triceratops. 52% against 79%. Okay. Ouch. That's gotta hurt. Meanwhile, we've got Presley, our last living Cryolophosaurus, fighting a Wowsaurus 89% against 20%. It's actually not looking too good for our Cryolophosaurus. He does land another bite, and I think they will call it off. Yeah, calling it off. 20% health. It's not looking too good for Presley. You are still alive. Look at this. The last remaining Monolophosaurus. You're just going to have to live off of the tiny carnivores. It's the only way. Our Pinocchio... There you are. You're over there. Yeah, you're still alive. You've been around since basically day one. Since episode one. How old are you? Let's take a look. You are currently... No, that's your defense. 39. All right. We got two Majungasaurs duking it out. Two Carnotauruses at it. But that's not surprising. Wait, which one's Toro? Yeah, you're Toro. So you know I'm gonna name you Toro. Because that's who you are, you're Toro. It looks very full now that we've got all these different dinosaurs here. Alright, Demetrodon should have food, even if they don't hunt down the Lystrosaurs and Sinosauropteryx. They'll have food. We got a Trosseraptor hunting down a Corythosaurus, it looks like. Yep. I think that's... Yeah, that's just a random skin. Yep, the Atrociraptors are attacking the Corythosaurus, it looks like. 
How many Corythosaurs do we have left? I know we got this guy. Well, we got a couple more. This this one just died. We got one, two, three, four, five. No, we still got five of them. This is the first Corythosaur, Corythosaur casualty. We got Dimetrodon fighting a Therizinosaurus. Yeah, that's not going to go well. Yep, I didn't think so. Meanwhile, we've got Charcoal hunting down a Dreadnoughtus. Ooh. Meanwhile, we've got Brachiosaurus just cruising along in the water. We've got two Minmies duking it out. Not surprising. I would think that they would, you know, duke it out. Probably fight for alpha dominance. We got someone's been poisoned by a Trudon, I would imagine. Yep, a Trudon did that. That's the, one of the Dominion Parasaurs. We got two Stegosauruses duking it out. Neither of them are Mage. How is Mage doing anyway? No, wait, I just saw her. There she is. She's just chilling by herself. How nice. Oh no, there's Red Robin with her. The last living Utah Raptor. Still kicking after all this time. How old are you? You're 30. Alright. You've lived a very long time, Red Robin. We got a fight between a Cocaradonosaurus and a Euoplocephalus. Okay. Yeah, you're the last living Cocaradonosaurus. Meanwhile, Atrociraptors are now hunting down a Centausaurus. Yeah, three of them are going after him. These guys are brutal. Absolutely deadly. We got another Wuarosaurus going after a, a Nasudoceratops, but this is more important. Yeah, that Centau is dead. As good as dead. Trodon hunting down a Parasaur. How many Centaurs do we have left? We could just check here. Toro is hunting down an Apatosaurus. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I forgot Carnotaurus can actually hunt sauropods. Alright, um, we got another Carnotaurus going after another Apatosaurus. Let's, uh, not filter that anymore. Alright, so we've got five Carithosaurs left. How many Centaurs do we have left? Only two. All right. How many Edmontosaurs do we have left? Three. Okay, and we've only got two Euopocephalus left, so that was the first Euopocephalus casualty. Meanwhile, we've got... What's it, a Trudon hunting down the same Parasaurolophus? I think this is the same Trudon. We got a Carnotaurus hunting down a... Oh, we do have Diplodocus. I didn't think we did. This, this sanctuary is just filled with sauropods. And Diplodocus is actually pretty small. Oh no, a fatal injury. I'm so sorry. It died. We still got three of them left. Oh no. A Sukamimus just killed this one? Oh my god. Two Diplodocus have just died. Meanwhile, we've got a fight between Toro and a Euopocephalus. Toro just killed a Euopocephalus. Toro, you're kind of a beast. Now we got an Overraptor just running away. Two are still alive. Alright, good. Some of these sauropods, man. They're dying to the ones you least expect. Meanwhile, we've got Atrociraptor versus Pro Proceratosaurus. Was that the last living Proceratosaurus? That was the last living Proceratosaurus. They're officially extinct now. Meanwhile, we've got Australovenator going up against Baryonyx. Can these guys tussle with each other? Oh no, you can stand up to Baryonyx. That's good to know. That's good to know that Australovenator can actually stand up to Baryonyx. Yeah, they each got two hits in. They are calling it off. 20% against 79%. Yeah, it wasn't looking good for the Australovenator. 
Meanwhile, we've just got this area of dinosaurs just scattered around. We've got Dimetrodon, Dryosaurus, Chasmosaurus, Myasaura, I believe Sinosauropteryx somewhere. Yes, yeah, Sinosauropteryx. Meanwhile, Charcoal is hunting down another Dreadnoughtus. Dreadnoughtus are kind of not backing down without a fight. We got another Australovanir. We got Velociraptor going after the last living Monolophosaurus. Yeah, we still got Velociraptors around. Will the Monolophosaurus go extinct? Actually, the Velociraptor lost. The Monolophosaurus actually won that. Meanwhile, we've got another Wuerosaurus duking it out with another Nasutoceratops. How many of these guys do we have left? Well, hold on, let's take a look at this Majungasaurus versus Minmi. Yep, just as I figured. One-shotted. Alright, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's see, Nasutoceratops. How many of you guys are left? Three, okay. And Werosaurus... Four. Got a Velociraptor on low health. A Dryosaurus just died to the last living... The last living Monolophosaurus. We got Presley going after a Stegosaurus. Uh, Stego, could you turn around? He's behind you. Turn around. Stop, stop sniffing his butt. Let's see what these guys are doing. We've got a Stegoceratops fighting a, fighting a Majungasaurus. 75% against 80%. It's actually not looking too good for the Stegoceratops. Might get another hit in. Yep. Meanwhile, a Trociraptor is hunting down a Centosaurus. I believe we still got all six Atrociraptors. Stegosaurus versus Ankylosaurus. Let's see, Atrociraptor. Yeah, we've still got all six. That's kind of crazy. These guys know what they're doing. Nasutoceratops going up against a Wuarosaurus again. We got the last... Oh no! Monolophosaurus just killed a Velociraptor. Velociraptor killed by the last living Monolophosaurus. Yeah, eat him from all the way over here. That's efficient, isn't it? Trodon just hunted down another one of those guys. Another Triceratops fighting another Stegosaurus. Ooh, it's actually not looking good for the Stegosaurus. Yep, yeah, he's as good as dead. Didn't even get a single hit in. Yeah, we're on the last living Centaur. So, uh, can we not go into capture mode, please? Thank you. Dinosaurs are going extinct left and right. You could call it an extinction event. <laughs> oh, we got Presley going after an Pseudoceratops. Ouch. You're still surviving. The last living Cryolophosaurus is still surviving. Meanwhile, we've got a Majungasaurus going after a Styracosaurus. Ouch. It's 32% against 92%. Yeah, it's not looking too good for the Styracosaurus. Sometimes they just call it off out of nowhere, for whatever reason. We got Red Robin going after a Chunkingosaurus. The last living Utah Raptor still surviving, going after a small Stegosaur. Well, it is small compared to the other Stegosaurus. Ouch, 39%. Okay, not looking too good. Not looking too good at all. They each got two hits in. I think they will call it off. Meanwhile, we've got a Trociraptors going after a Parasaur now, it looks like. Meanwhile, we've got a Trociraptors going after a Sukumimus. Ouch! Oh, I thought that one just died. I think he jumped and then the Sukumimus bit him. Still alive. We got a fatal injury. No! Not another Diplodocus! Oh no. That means you 
are the last living Diplodocus. That's not good. The Diplodocus are going extinct. One was killed by a Carnotaurus, one was killed by a Suchomimus, one was killed by a Cacarodontosaurus, and now we just got this one left. Now you're just looking for water. Cool. We got another Majungasaurus going after a Styracosaurus, which it just killed. How many Styracosaurus do we have left? Was that the first one to die, or... I think they come in sixes, if I'm not mistaken. There's three left. Surely they come in, I think, groups of six? Yeah, two to six. So yeah, half of them are gone. Over after. We got a Therizinosaurus just killed a Demetrodon. Baryonyx going after a, a Taurosaurus. I forgot we had these. Yeah. 10%. He does get a bite in, but it's not looking too good. You know, let's give these guys a fish feeder. They're calling it off. Let's give them a fish feeder. Just so they have food. You are about to die. It looks like the Dinochirus is going after the fish feeder. At least somebody's using it anyway. Oh, no. Oh, they're just fighting. Okay. I thought maybe Presley was being hunted down, but no. These guys can actually fight each other. Good to know. 86% against 56%. I didn't know these guys could fight one-on-one. -on -one. That's good to know. Ouch. So yeah, 13% against 77%. Yeah, I think that Baryonyx is going to starve to death. So yeah, it starved to death. I figured it would. We got a Stegosaurus or Stegoceratops going up against a... Majungasaurus, 63% against 86%. It's actually not looking good for the... We got Toro fighting a Suchomimus. And lost. They're calling off their fight. The Suchomimus actually won that fight. We got Charcoal going up against a Chasmosaurus and just killed it. Yep, I figured that would happen. Just so you can at least have food anyway. Yeah, fill this up, because this is litter littered with sauropods. Might as well. We got an Apatosaurus that just died to a Carnotaurus. That's a shame. We got another- we got a Suchomimus going after an Apatosaurus. It's, uh, this one right here. Looks like you are doing okay. We got another Carnotaurus going up against a Suchomimus. They each got two hits and 64% against 82%. It's not looking good for that Suchomimus, which is now at 39%. We've got a Troodon going up against a Stigmalock. Interesting. I forgot those things were here. They're doing a little dance. Oh, the poison combined with the starvation might not look good for this Stiggy. I mean, if you can at least eat... Yeah, they're calling off their fight. We got a Taurosaurus going up against a Baryonyx. Look at how big the Taurosaurus are compared to these guys. They're cool. Ouch. Baryonyx did get the first hit in. 83% against 71%. Yeah, the Baryonyx is clearly winning. What, what are your traits? Small, appetite, quenched, resilient, and tolerant. And what are your traits? Small, appetite, and tolerant. Alright. They each got two hits in. Though the Baryonyx did win that. Carnotaurus going up against another Suchomimus. We got the last living Monolophosaurus that just died to a Velociraptor. The Monolophosaurs are officially extinct. That's, that's a shame. That is a right shame. Meanwhile, we've still got one Diplodocus left. You know what? I'm going to count my blessings, and I think I'm going to end it here. If you guys enjoyed this series, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. Join me again next time when we, uh... When we basically try to build a spin wheel park. I'm going to try to give them a comeback. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>